Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group Director, and I'm here today with Pastor Ken, who's sitting in for Duffy. Duffy had to catch a quick flight today. And so Pastor Ken is going to talk a little bit about our new series. We didn't get any questions today texted in, but Duffy's message was very timely very. considering where we're headed yeah. for the new year. We've seen this promotional video of the water and the drowning and the, the rise above. Right. Tell us more about what this series is going to be about. Sure. What we're going to talk about, it, it comes from the little book of First Peter in the New Testament, which is just a great study. And I felt like it was the right thing for us to talk about going into this year for two reasons based upon things that we talked about last year. We did a series on the life of Peter back in the spring of last year. Um, and so it seemed to me we ought to come back to what he actually then would write when he was at a far deeper uh, more balanced, stable point in his life about 30 years after the resurrection. Um, because he's gonna write to these Christians that are dispersed all around modern day Turkey and they were fleeing for their lives like Christians are today, uh, more and more. And because the Emperor Nero was taking them into the Colosseum 15 and 20 at a time and, and doing shows, feeding them to the lions and beheading them and things that you see happening more a little bit today to Christians. And so it's, it's a fantastic book on the reality of pain in this world, suffering in this world, complications, hardships, um, and just seemed like for that reason and then for a second reason, coming out of that series on Daniel that we did, because we're gonna look next week at the first 12 verses in chapter one, where he, were, where he uh, mentions this fiery trial. And commentators tend to agree, he surely had the story of uh, Nebuchadnezzar and uh, the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the, in the fiery the, the pit and, and that whole thing in mind when he was writing this letter. So it seemed like the right uh, series for us to, to go into based upon what we had talked about last year mm -hmm. and just the realities of the world today that I think more and more we're gonna have to reprogram our minds to a new normal. And so how do I live my Christian faith out in light of this new normal on the macro level and on the micro level where there's hardships in my home and my family and my work and my finances and, and it's a very relevant book for for all of that so I'm real excited about it and I we Duffy and I had not compared notes and I didn't know where he was going to go but as he said in the message it was a really nice prequel to the the series and very inspiring and uh, so I'm looking forward to picking it up next week. Awesome. We're looking forward to it too. And I hope that you'll join us back here next week for Postscript. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.